GPT engineers are capable of writing entire website with just a single prompt. In this video, I will show you how to install it on your local PC and how to use it. This will be a complete step-by-step -step guide, ensuring that you won't face any problems. So, the first question in your mind might be, what is GPT Engineer? Well, GPT Engineer is similar to AutoGPT, but instead of generating text, it creates an entire codebase for you. Now, here's the mind-blowing part. With GPT Engineer, you don't need to be a coding prodigy or spend countless hours writing lines of code. All you have to do is provide a text prompt with your project idea, and this AI genius will ask you questions to clarify the details. Once it's crystal clear on what you want to build, it starts generating the entire code base for you. Talk about a developer's dream come true. All right, now let's get into the installation process. To get started with GPT Engineer, you'll need a few things. First, make sure you have Git installed on your system. Next, you'll need the latest version of Python, the programming language that powers GPT Engineer. If you don't have Python installed yet, no worries. I'll guide you through the process. Once you have Git and Python all set up, we need to get ourselves a code editor. Visual Studio Code is an excellent choice, as it provides a user-friendly environment for coding and debugging. Plus, it has some cool extensions that can enhance your productivity. So, make sure to grab that editor and have it ready to roll. Now, here comes the crucial part. You need to register for an OpenAI account and log in. OpenAI is the brilliant team behind GPT Engineer, and they're the ones making this AI magic happen. Once you're logged in, it's time to generate your very own GPT-4 API key. This key will give you access to the incredible power of GPT-4 and enable you to create mind-blowing projects with GPT Engineer. All right, folks, now that we have all the necessary prerequisites covered, it's time to dive into the installation process. Head over to the GitHub repository for GPT Engineer and clone it to your local machine. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Git, I've got your back. I'll guide you through the process step by step, so you'll have GPT Engineer ready to roll in no time. Once you've cloned the repository, navigate to the directory in your command line interface. From there, it's time to install the required dependencies. This will ensure that GPT Engineer has all the necessary tools and libraries to work its magic. Don't worry if it takes a little bit of time. Trust me, it's worth the wait. Now, here's the secret sauce. You need to set up your OpenAI API key. Remember that API key we generated earlier? This is where it comes into play. By linking your API key with GPT Engineer, you're granting it access to the incredible power of GPT-4. This is what makes the magic happen, so make sure you follow the instructions carefully to get everything set up properly. All right, we're almost there. It's time to create a new project. Think of it as a canvas where you'll paint your coding masterpiece. Give your project a catchy name and a brief description. Remember, the more details you provide, the better GPT engineer can understand your vision. Now, let's fill in the main prompt. This is where you unleash your creativity and describe what you want to build. Be as detailed as possible, but don't worry if you're not a wordsmith. GPT Engineer will ask you questions to clarify any missing pieces and ensure it understands your project requirements. It's like having an AI teammate that never misses a beat. And now, my friends, it's time to witness the magic. Run main. PY space your project anim and watch as GPT Engineer generates your entire code base based on your prompt and the clarifications you provided. And there you have it, folks. Here you can see our project is ready. Now let's run our calculator app. You can see our calculator running perfectly. So, what are you waiting for? Dive into the world of GPT Engineer, explore its capabilities, and let your coding imagination run wild. I can't wait to see the amazing projects you'll create. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of our exciting tech adventures. Thanks for watching, keep coding, keep exploring, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay awesome!